Jesse Bardo. He's in the admissions office at Northfield Mount Hermon School, and he is uh, kind enough to take me on a tour of campus today, just literally the day that all the kids are headed home for ho holidays, but I appreciate him taking the time. So, Jesse, where are we right now? This is Shea Cottage. Um, so this is just a um, typical dorm at Northfield Mount Hermon. We have um, lounge area, um, TV room, ping pong table room, and our kitchen where kids are able to uh, make food nightly. Um, this is a great space for kids just to hang out. Girls and boys are allowed to hang out in this space during the day. So um, we're in the common area, right? Common area, yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, like I said, girls and boys are allowed to hang out here together during certain times. Um, but this is really a space for the kids to utilize. Uh, again, for study time, to meet with their advisors. There's also a faculty on every hall, so the faculty house is right here. Um, it's a family, um, and obviously the fireplace. It's a, it's a really cozy place for kids to feel at home. Um, that's what we try to have in all of our uh, places here at, at NMH. Where are we now, Jesse? So right now we're in Memorial Chapel, which was built in 1899. Uh, it is one of our first buildings here on the uh, on this campus, and everybody here at North Mount Hermon works. We have a, a work job program, uh, and everybody works four and a half hours a week. Uh, but that work job start, stemmed from the kids being uh, the boys on the Mount Hermon campus. Uh, that one of their first work jobs was to bring up all the brick, uh, all the brick and, and stone for this building from the Connecticut River up to. Uh, Make the foundations for the for this uh, this building, which is really neat, and uh, you can still see all the, the artwork and um, there's been some renovations, but mostly it's it's still the way that DL and Moody uh, intended it to be. So, so what happens in this building? Uh, this is the chapel. So we meet here uh, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, uh, as, and it's the only building on campus besides the dining hall where the entire school fits. Hmm. Um, so it's a gathering place for us. So you do assemblies. And assemblies on Monday morning meeting, and then we have Wednesday uh, what we call student life committee, and kids, the whole school meets, and we talk about and have speakers and um, things related to the students. We're outside the Memorial Chapel here at North Mount Herman. Um, so this is known uh, as Heaven's Hill, uh, and uh, D.L. Moody, his vision for the school, uh, for the boys who went here originally, uh, is that they would see uh, the school where they were going and they were, you know, where they were at the time, but that the outside world would be omnipresent and they would know where they were headed. And uh, that's certainly uh, something that we've continued to believe here, and uh, I think the kids see it every time they walk out of the chapel, they see exactly where they are at school and then where they're headed out in the world and to make a difference, which is, uh, I think, a neat message uh, for these kids. All right, so we're in the cafeteria now. Yes, yeah, so this is a, this is alumni hall, um, and it's called alumni hall because every class that's ever been through North Fremont Herman is on the walls. So you can physically see their pictures uh, wherever, whenever they've come through here. Um, this is the salad bar and sandwiches. Uh, and this is open all day. We call it grazing hours. Uh, we have a working farm on campus, so that really works well. Um, but this is a great space for kids just to come and hang out. It's open all day from um, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And uh, yeah, classes are held in here sometimes. The kids will just really hang out and enjoy the wonderful food we have, a lot from the farm, uh, and uh, certainly the space. It's a great space for us. And how about all the flags on the wall? So the, the flags represent every uh, the nationalities of every student that's come here in the last five years. Uh, and so we rotate the flags around, but uh, there's 76 flags up right now. And uh, you can see all, all the different places that kids have come from uh, and been at the school. We're in the uh, we're in Blake Student Center. Blake uh, Blake started Friendlies, and he was an alum. Uh, and so this is what he gave to the school as a, as a gift. Um, and this really kids take ownership of this. Uh, this is a great space for them to come and hang out. Uh, this is you know in terms of pool tables. There's also stage. There's impromptu dance competitions. Uh, we have crown a champion in ping pong or pool and um, different things that, you know pr pretty much once a day uh, but this is a great a great space it's again much like college in that the kids sort of just have this open space to themselves and on the weekends there's lots to do here the uh, as in everything at North Mount Herman the um, outreach and the community uh, the student services is right here so you're you're with your teachers and the people who are, who are working with you in every aspect all over campus that includes the people who are making your weekend better here, um, or your social life better here. So, so, re so residential life is... Yep, housed, and yeah. that's located right behind these, these windows here. They are intimately involved with the kids, and this is their space. It's yeah. pretty cool. So is this really the hub of activity, on, you know, for social activity on campus? Uh, definitely everybody meets here, and then, you know, if there's a dance somewhere else, or there's an art show going on, um, athletic events, kids meet here, there's a grill up behind us, um, they're able to get food there. Uh, so th this is where everything sort of starts, and then it goes from there.
So this is the, the library. Um, this is at night uh, during the weekdays. This is a silent study for upperclassmen. Um, but this is a really cozy place to get work done. We have uh, our media kiosks here. We have classes that come in here all the time. Uh, also, you get a view of the, the, um, the farm. And uh, again, there's, I think there's 20,000 volumes in here. It goes down for three floors. And this is a really, a really nice, cozy place that you can meet with teachers, uh, work with kids in groups on the lower floors, uh, and then have silent study hall up here. So nice, nice spot to work. So uh, where are we right now, Jesse? So this is Heffernan Hall in our new, brand new uh, Rhodes Art Center. It's a LEED certified gold standard building. We, uh, we built and it opened last year. Um, this is our coral, coral practice room. Uh, so we're known as the singing school. Everybody here sings. And uh, so as you can tell, our chorus and our uh, choral program is very important. Uh, so we have a really wonderful space for kids to be able to do that. Uh, you may notice the microphone hanging down from the top. This is one of three professional recording studios that we have in this incredible building. So it's a, it's a really neat space for us. So why are you known as the singing school? Uh, everybody here sings at least once a week uh, from the first year to the four-year senior to the postgraduate boy who's uh, playing you know, football or, or soccer here. Everybody sings. Uh, it's just tradition with the school. We've always done it, and uh, it's been really neat. This is our, um, our play theater. This is our, uh, where we put on our, all our, our plays. Um, and this is designed as the theater in the round, uh, as Shakespeare's theater in the round. It's, it's really neat. It fits two, uh, 210 kids uh, or, or audience members uh, in two different levels. Kids do all the lighting. They do all the set design and building. The behind here, uh, that's a, one of our three professional recording studios in here. Um, and kids are in charge of all of this. And so that's a really neat space. And the, right now what I'm standing on is on, it's a hydraulic lift. So we can lower this part of the stage for a orchestra section, raise it for more seats, or raise it even higher for more of a stage, which they've done right now. Um, but this is a, it's a really wonderful theater. And uh, the, we just had Dirty Rotten Scoundrels performed here, uh, sold out uh, two of the three nights. And uh, it was just a wonderful production. The musical is big time uh, here. So a space that we really enjoy. So you said that, that the, the, the number of seats is intentional. Yes. Everything in this building, everything at the school, is designed for the teenage performer, teenage athlete. Um, so this, this space is great because whether there's 10 people in here or this, it's a packed house, um, it's not an intimidating space for a teenage performer. Uh, but it is a very professional space. So it's really about quality, not quantity. So this is the, perform the performance and dance studios are, are on this wing. Um, and these are all our practice rooms for different instruments. So right down there we have the drum uh, practice room. That has a special floor that's lifted off the rest of the foundation um, so that it doesn't disturb anybody while kids are playing the drums. Uh, and these are specifically tuned for different instruments. Uh, but all of these rooms, uh, what, something I think is really cool here is that they're sound soundproof to each other, but they're not, the doors are not soundproof. And that's by design so that when you're walking down this corridor and there's music being played, you can hear that music. Uh, we think it would be sort of dead to sort of to block everything off. You really want to be able to hear and see the kids doing their music. And then their teachers, who are professional musicians, all their offices are right here, as I said, with everything here at NMH. But they're, they're right there for help or to, to gain, uh, to, to hear them play. Uh, so it's pretty cool in, in that respect. This is James Gym. It's our um, wrestling gym. And it was the fully functional gym for North Vermont Herman for a long time. But it is uh, now just the wrestling gym. And you can see it's just really, it's an old school prep school gym. Um, all of our All-Americans, everybody's come through here uh, in terms of wrestling. Uh, and our wrestling team is uh, one of the top teams in the country this year. We're in the North Vermont Herman basketball gym. Uh, this is a multi-purpose space for us, but in the winter it's all basketball. Our boys basketball team is number four in the country. Um, we're really, uh, really strong in our basketball. You see girls varsity is, is traveling, or is practicing right now. Um, but this is, again is a great space for us. You can see the eight schools conference which we're in uh, and involved in. Uh, and, uh, this is, a, but, and these stands, everything's packed for, for our uh, different games. It's really fun. Who's your big rival? So, uh, you know, in the eight schools, our big rival, Andover and Exeter, uh, certainly Deerfield right down the road. Um, but on a, I think, I would say Loomis is our, our big rival for, for most everything. Um, and they, and we battle with them in almost all our sports. So, uh, I would say that's our big rival.